so today I wanted to throw out a, uh, a bit of a challenge um, and I want to invite um, some people to um, reflect on their, their own beliefs and their own um, interpretation of the Bible. I'm not one to ever tell anybody else um, how to be in their faith. I would never, ever do that. But there is, um, there is one particular topic that really um, makes my blood boil uh, within, within the church and within the truth community. Uh, and I've spoken about it before. And yes, this is uh, another Flat Earth video, but this is basically directed um, straight at Christians who believe the Earth's a globe. Um, and I'm going to tell you why you're wrong. Um, so, um, since I found Christ in June, something that has become um, absolutely crystal clear to me um, is that um, the more you find Christ and the, 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 the more filled with Christ you become and the further your journey goes, organized religion and organized churches are no place for us. Uh, because, simply because of uh, what they preach and what they follow and it's highly frustrating um, it gets spiritually lonely, um, and people like us who feel as though we are truly walking with Christ, um, we look at churches and it's full of people who are not. Um, it's full of people who just go on Sunday, makes themselves feel good. They've got no idea that the Bible is a spiritual book. They don't even know what Jesus says, and they think if they just lead a, um, a good, wholesome life that's rules dictated by here on earth, um, they're going to go to heaven. Um, the only way to get, you, to get you to heaven is through a relationship with Jesus Christ. But in any case, I want to invite those people to go back to the Bible, uh, particularly Genesis. Um, so uh, th there's, there's two models. There's, there's Big Bang and there's, um, there's creation. Now, if, um, if there's a third, let me know. Um, but as far as I know, it's, it's Big Bang and it's creation. And Big Bang and Big Bang is directly linked to evolution. Uh, I've never heard a creationist say yet that they believe in evolution, but since I found Christ, I'm seeing all sorts of crazy um, uh, manifestations of people's faith. So, so who knows? Uh, but in any case, um, the globe, the globe model, um, is never mentioned in the Bible. Not once is there a mention of the Earth being a globe. So there's that for a start. Um, there's no mention as far as I know with it being specifically flat, but there's a lot of indications to say it is flat. Um, but in any case, if you believe in a globe, that means you believe in the Big Bang Theory. <clears throat> Does it not? Can you believe in the globe uh, without believing in Big Bang? Because if you believe in the globe and you don't believe in Big Bang, how did the globe get here? Um, that's what I want to know first of all. Um, so, um, those of us who believe in creation, uh, we believe it, uh, um, believe in creation. We also believe that, uh, well, that makes us believe that the, um, the earth was created by a higher being, by the creator, by God. Um, and it says so in the Bible. So if the earth is a globe, how is there waters above for a start? Um, um, if the, the the globe was created, well, wasn't created. The create the the globe was big banged. So basically, if you believe in the globe, you're a big banger. I mean that the nicest possible way. But you, you're not a creationist. You believe you believe in the globe, um, and therefore, how did life get onto the globe? Um, you have to go back to the globe model. Um, which dictates that it was done by evolution. So if you believe in the globe, you believe in dinosaurs, you believe that men crawled out of the sea and become humans. Um, if, you, if, if you've got any beliefs that differ from this, I would really invite you to, to, um, to, to, to write it in the comments because I'm here to learn as well. Um, if there's something I'm missing here, let me know. Um, I want to hear from any Christian who believes the earth's a globe. I hear time and time again that it's a divisive issue. I hear that a lot. Um, Christians need to get on with it and not worry about the shape of the earth. The shape of the earth doesn't matter in the Bible. It's absolutely true um, what you say, that it doesn't matter at the end of the day, but the deception does and the reason for the deception does. And if I hear one more fucking preacher who says the word globe, I will lose my shit. Fair dinkum. I hear these people, my three favorite preachers are Pastor Charles Lawson, uh, Carter Conlon, and Alex Wilkinson. Now, Carter Conlon, I'm sort of, 
I'm a little bit wary on because of the CC name, and I just wonder whether he flashes Masonic symbols, Hennig's hand signs when he preaches sometimes, but the it's hard to believe because the stuff that comes out of that guy's mouth is quite inspiring. So it makes me wonder how he could possibly be a Mason and, and, the, and the lengths they must be going to if that man is a Mason. But in any case, they're my three favourite preachers, and I've heard them all in the last week say the earth's a fucking globe. It's like, are you people not reading the Bible? And it's like, aren't you being the divisive ones? Because if I hear one preacher say that the earth's a globe, if I hear it in one sermon, <coughs> for me, it's an instant turn off. I don't want to know you and I don't want to know um, your sermons. I don't want to know your church because you ignore the Bible. I don't understand how people in the church refer to the Bible with every single issue. But yet whenever I mention flat earth um, or question the shape of the earth with what we're given now, I'm held down. I'm being told I'm being divisive. Um, how am I being divisive? You're being divisive by, by following a model that's occultic. I mean, all you've got to do is look at it. If you know anything about the world and the history of the world, you know that Freemason are occultists. Um, the whole United States was built on Freemasonry. If you follow Freemasonry, if you follow Freemasons, you're following the occult, you're following the Antichrist, and you're not following Christ. If anybody can tell me where I'm off beam here, you, 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 you like, let me know. Freud, Einstein, uh, Newton, um, all of them, all of these people that uh, uh, that prove that the Earth's a globe, they're all occultists. All you got to do is look at their equation. The Earth's tilt is, um, what is it? It's 20, 23 and a half degrees or something. But if you take that away from the 90, it, it, it works out to exactly 66 degrees backwards. And they don't like to do shit backwards, do they? No. How fast does the Earth go? 66 66,000 miles of course it's always it's always these occultic numbers and all of their equations they have to fit something because they're so massive and there's such a um, stark um, departure from, from reality these equations have to be so long and lengthy and complicated that poor old Jimmy on the street can't understand them and that's why they do it and plus they're all occultic that's why they do it is so nobody can understand they complicate the living fuck out of it so nobody gets it but the thing is it's it's easy you just look outside and there's the sun there's the moon there's the flat ground you look up in the sky there's the firmament and the reason why the sky is blue is because it's it's water just as the bloody bible says so if you follow the globe and you preach the globe that means you are um, following a model that's anti-Bible, it's, um, it's anti-creation, it's anti-God, it's pro-occultic, it's pro-freemasonry, pro and it's just, it, you completely contradict yourself. So as soon as I hear a preacher say it, I'm thinking, do you even read the Bible? Or do you just pick and choose parts that are, that are, that are easy to you? And someone like me who's on the fringes, who's on the outside, who's in the body of Christ. But when I say that I'm on the fringes and the outside, I mean of the church um, here on earth, here in Australia, um, I'm absolutely on the fringes. I'm on the outside. I would love nothing more than to be able to go to church today. But no, I mean, my local churches around here celebrate Halloween and they have commemorative days for Australia Day and, and, and Anzac Day. And no doubt I'll go there and they'll say, every single human on this globe. It's like, where in the Bible does it say it's a bloody globe? Where? Nowhere. But everywhere, it's littered with passages to say it's flat. So why with this issue, this one issue, why do you all insist on shutting people like me out, um, condemning us to the fringes, or because you want to be anti-Bible? I'm not being anti-Bible. It says it clearly in the Bible. God created the heaven and earth. He created the firmament above. There's, there's passages there to say that... Um, uh, I think it was when Satan took Jesus after his 40 days in the wilderness. He took him to the highest mountains and he said, I saw all four corners of the earth. You can't do that on a globe. You simply can't do it. it the Bible is absolutely littered, littered with these passages to say that the earth is not a globe. So if you believe in the globe, you believe in Big Bang. You, you don't believe in creation. You believe in evolution. And to me, I believe in creation. That's it. That's that's it. That's how people got here. That's how the earth got here because of creation. No globe. No people for, uh, jumping out of the um, jumping out of the water. No dinosaurs. A six thousand year earth that God created with a firmament that doesn't move. That's it. 